Now, France and Great Britain are marking 120 years since the Entente Cordiale was signed. The accord, clinched in 1904, sought to improve relations in the aftermath of the Napoleonic Wars. To mark the occasion, French and British troops are swapping places at the Elysee Palace in Paris and outside Buckingham Palace in London. Cathy Clifford, follows report. British soldiers marching at the Elysee Palace. An unprecedented sight, the British Coldstream Guard took part in the changing of the Republican Guard on the steps of the French Presidential Palace, relieving their French counterparts. It was the first time foreign troops have been included in the ceremony. The swap to celebrate 120 years of Entente Cordiale agreements between France and the UK. French President Emmanuel Macron stood alongside the British ambassador, Dame Mena Rawlings. A French army choir sang the national anthems of both countries. Outside the palace, a crowd turned out for the historic occasion. Soon after, across the channel, French Republican guards marched outside Buckingham Palace, serenaded by a British military band in a ceremony attended by the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh. The French, however, did not stand guard here, an honour reserved for British and Commonwealth troops. The French president praised the historic agreement on social media, describing it as the cornerstone of Franco-UK relations in the face of Brexit and war in Europe. Let's use the Entente Cordiale of the 21st century to nurture the friendship between our two peoples and the shared causes we promote in the world. Long live the Entente Cordiale and long live the Franco-British friendship. The Franco-British Entente Cordiale, a 1904 series of agreements, settled colonial disputes and significantly improved relations between the two countries. For more on this story, we can bring in Laura Carter, lecturer in British history at uh, Paris's Cité University. Uh, good to have you with us here on France 24 today. I'm curious, does Britain or France have a similar agreement with any other country? Um, Britain and France have both had agreements over the over the 20th century and the 19th century with um, other countries, especially in this era at the end of the 19th century, where there was actually a lot of disputes among European powers about interests in Africa and the Middle East. I think what's unique about the Entente Cordiale that we're celebrating today is the way it has come to mark um, an entire century or more than a century now of cordial agreements and, and friendliness and, and alliance between two countries who, for hundreds of year, years before that, uh, were, were frankly enemies. So it's more seeing it in the, the long historical perspective, I think, that makes this uh, agreement unique. This agreement aims to keep relations friendly between the two sides, but relations have been tested recently, uh, or whether, it come, whether it's because of uh, disagreements uh, on migration or uh, the AUKUS security agreement, if you recall, a couple of years ago, uh, where Paris uh, was uh, sort of left out uh, and uh, the, the UK, Australia and the US struck a deal uh, to sell Australia a nuclear submarines. So there, it has been tested, hasn't it? Yeah, for sure. And, and the AUKUS agreement that, that upset the French um, and also the, the disputes you mentioned over small boats in the Channel and uh, fishing rights, all these things arising from Brexit, I think in the sh they're quite short term, actually, in the context of, of the whole 20th century. So there definitely was a kind of cold period um, around the Brexit uh, the Brexit vote under Boris Johnson and Liz Truss in the UK, but mostly I think we're looking at that coming to an end now, which is I think why this 100th, 120th anniversary is being so strongly celebrated and pushed on both sides, because it's a nice way to kind of mark and emphasise this newer, more peaceful, uh, friendly period of Franco-British relations. You, you know, we, we often talk about how the Entente Cordiale is uh, for... for supposed to represent friendly relations uh, between the two sides. But we have to be honest, there is this rivalry, there's a little bit of jealousy. Uh, can you explain that? Uh, between France and Britain? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, for sure. I think a lot of that um, jealousy and kind of uh, fairly lighthearted sometimes um, 
rivalry uh, comes out in things like sport and culture and language. Not that these aren't important things, but I think those those rivalries only emerge because there is a deeper understanding of a, of a important strategic political alliance that really was solidified in the First World War and again in the Second World War. I think those two events in the 20th century uh, run a lot deeper probably than even the most recent disputes we've been seeing over Brexit. And I'd also add that, I mean, it was mentioned briefly in your report, but the Entente Cordiale was, we talk about it as a kind of friendly agreements moment, but it, it was a, it was really a colonial agreement that, that um, basically said the British would not get involved in French interests in Morocco and the French would no longer interfere with what, with what Britain was doing in Egypt. So even though after the First World War it looks like a, a story of, of, of nationalism, it's also very much a story about imperialism at the end of the 19th century. Laura Cutter, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you very much for joining us on the programme today. Thank you. Paris Direct continues after this. Stay tuned.